Yeah. But let, let's start with some of the, the wild card names. I think one of the names that has come up is Kennedy Japon. Mm -hmm. uh, let's talk about Kennedy. <laughs> is there a chance? You know what I mean, Kennedy gave a nice concession speech. Mm -hmm. He gave Bami a run for his money. He controls the central region. Major, is, is, major guy. <laughs> are there, when you listen to MPP, is it something that... Are there people in Baumia's camp who I mean entertain the idea at all? Not at all. At all? Not at all. I had a, at all, at had all. a conversation with persons within the camp even before coming up. Uh, and his name has never come up in all the Kennedy's name has not, not come at up all. at all. Not at all. His name hasn't come up in any way. You know, even considering you know why I'm asking? Because you remember Nana Kumia and Co. had suggested prior to the race that we should consider a Baumia Alan ticket yeah. to bring peace. So... If you look at Kennedy's performance and the way he's viewed, even if it hasn't come up, it could come up, could it oh, not? Because oh. if, if the man is the second most popular person mm -hmm. within the flag bearership yeah. slot and you want to prevent a division, can't you, for the sake of party unity, say, let's unite? Or Baumia will not agree? They will not agree because the MPP, as of now, Bernard, will want to take a running mate from the Ashanti region. They will not want to go to any other region. The central region is out. The eastern region is out. Greater Accra is out. You are sure of this? Sure of this. They want to focus on or in the, in the Ashanti region. I had a national organizer of the party, Nana B, speak on one of the local stations. And he said that surely the, the flag bearer or the running mate was going to come from the Ashanti region. And they are going to insist on that. That wow. indeed, indeed the running mate comes from the Ashanti region. In one, it's one way or the other appeasing the people of the, of the Ashanti region so the party can get more votes. But why, why do the they, why they need to be appeased? What, what, is well, there, what is the problem? Is well, there like... A... Well, perhaps, perhaps this time around, they, they, they are not on, on, on the ticket or not on the ballot. But, Maybe but, a different but person... Th there's not been an Ashanti on the ballot since uh, 2008. Since Kufour left. Yes, for yeah. the MPP. So, are you saying that the MPP leadership feels that Ashanti needs to be on the ballot for them to turn out. Of course. It's always been the case. If you look at, look at Bernard, the, the electoral history from when Kufo was president or was the candidate from the MP, the voice the MPP got from the Ashanti region compared to what Akufado had when he, he was the candidate or even the president, you could see a clear difference. They fought one of their own. If one of their own is on the ticket, it's going to help them with a lot of votes. I read Dr. Um, Arthur Kennedy's book after the 2008 election. Yeah. Uh, chasing the elephant into the bush. And he said that in the 2008 election, mm -hmm. as many as 500,000 MPP supported refused to vote in the first round of the election. Half a million. Half a million from the Ashanti region because they felt that their person wasn't on the ticket. And so if the MPP wants to wow. cure that or even resolve that, they must one way or the other get someone from the ticket. But the counter argument is that the MPP as a political party believes in the three doctrines, the Dankwa Buzia Dumbo tradition. Mm. Now they feel the Dankwa people have come, which is Nane Kufado, the, the Buzia people, which is former President Kufo, is now the time of the Dumbos to also. The more mm. reason why a lot of the Ashanti members of parliament wanted to support. So is, are the, you saying that they see Eastern Region as the Dankwa side, the yes. Buzia as the Ashanti the side? The Ashanti side. Interesting.